Hi, Jason here with Koala Group. I'm going to show you quickly how to update your DKIM records in Zoho Mail. If you have a domain registered with us through uh, this, through OpenSRS, then this is going to be a, a quick and easy thing for you guys to do. So first of all, I've logged into my email here. This is a client's email. I'm going to go to the control panel by clicking on the gear button and then selecting that from the drop down. And you can see here's immediate action required. So it's saying, OK, your DKIM entries need to be configured. So let's do that. So first, you can go to email authentication here and then DKI, DKIM. And here we go. We're, we're going to you should only have one domain in here. Or if you have multiple, then select the one that you're wanting to uh, modify. We're going to click on add selector. And then this selector name can be anything. Uh, I just use Zoho. I'm going to save that. And here's the, now here's the information that we need to put in here. There's this kind of long, um, this Zoho dot underscore domain key dot ACR dot rocks. This is the don't, this is their domain name. So this would be your, you know, domain dot name or whatever it is. And then this is the value that we need to put in here. So now we've logged into our administration panel here for our domain. We're going to click on name servers. Um, I think you could, yeah, you don't, you want to click on name servers and then DNS. We're actually updating the DNS records here. So we're not managing the name servers. We're modifying DNS zone. So now here's the DNS zones. Basically these are different things. You have your domain name, and then this is telling where to point uh, parts of that domain name and what telling it what to do. So um, what we're going to do is take this Zoho dot whatever this thing is. So we're going to say, I'm going to highlight this dot underscore domain key. And I'm going to copy that after my Zoho address. So here we're going to add a text record. So we're going to do Zoho dot, and then I'm going to copy that. There shouldn't be two dots there. So Zoho dot underscore domain key, and then dot ACR dot rocks. That should match this whole thing right here. So Zoho dot underscore uh, domain key dot ACR dot rocks. It looks like that manages, uh, that matches that. And then we're going to copy this record. We're going to go over here and paste that in to that area. And then... We're going to click on, oh, of course, I have this little, um, I had something in my way there. Uh, we're going to click on save DNS zone. So now that should be saved. And sometimes this takes up to, sometimes they say up to 24 hours to, uh, to work. I'm going to, let's see, I'm going to click on manage your domain just to go back here. Sometimes that helps refresh things. I'm going to click on verify. Okay. It says verification failed. Now that's okay. We are, uh, now we've done everything we need to do in order to update our DKIM. Now I would just recommend coming back here after a couple hours, you're going to go to the same location in your control panel, email auth authentication, DKIM, click on edit here. Now you see this new selector in here that's not verified. You can click on this verify thing until um, check back every couple hours or so. Click on that until it actually is verified. Then you should be completely updated with your DKIM records. Hope that helps. Now if I can only figure out how to there we go. Have a good one.